What's going on there YouTube? I'm back once again for my second video for today. Uh, I'll be showing you guys the Chuff Enough Drip Top. I purchased this last Friday and it arrived in the mail this Wednesday. Uh, ordered it from the Vape Source. Paid $25 plus $8 shipping. So, uh, as far as initial impression, you know, just, uh, you know, quality check, uh, didn't find any issues with it. Uh, again, uh, overall, looks pretty excellent. Uh, it came with two O-rings, two different size O-rings. Uh, so depending on, uh, because I specifically bought this for my toe baddie and there are multiple clone manufacturers out there uh, so if you have a clone or the authentic uh, you know with the two o-rings you can definitely uh, make sure that you have a good fit on the uh, sleeve of your Addy uh, for my tobe uh, First, I tried the uh, smaller O-ring, smaller size O-ring, and it's a little loose, you know, it wiggles a little bit. So, I went ahead and used the uh, thicker O-rings, which have a better fit, or actually, it's, it, it might be a little too, it, it's a little too tight, but I prefer that than, you know, a looser fit, so. And also, come to find out, you know, since I, uh, you know, I did a review on the Plume Veil, since it has a similar top cap, you know, a removal top cap, I just went ahead and tried it on, and to my amazement, here's my plume veil, here's the chuff enough, fits perfectly, yes. So today I'll be uh, trying this out on both the plume veil and my tobe. So if you have a, a, an RDA which has the removable top cap, uh, this might fit. Uh, I think this, uh, I'm pretty sure this fits on this layer too. So if you have, uh, let me see. I also have this top cap right here for my, you know, this is the Halo top cap that I'm using for my Patriot. Let me see if it fits here too. I'm sure it will. Yeah, look at that. So even fits on the Halo top cap. So now I, that's why it's great that it came with two different size O-rings, so you can get that good fit. You know. Uh, so again, if you have an RDA that has a removable top cap, this might work. So as far as the RDAs that I have, you know, the Plumville, the Tobe, and then the Halo top cap, this fits. Uh, so let's go check it out with uh, the uh, the plume veil first. I have a well, just for FYI, on my VV box might have it set to four volts, and I'll be using the same voltage throughout because I have a pretty much the same build. It's a 0.22 build on my tobe. Actually, my tobe has a 0.25 uh, ohm build, and my Plume Veil has a 0.22, so similar, almost the same. So let's put the Plume Veil on first. Uh, basically, same build, same build you know, uh, dual coil 22 gauge Cantal, six wraps, uh, cotton wick, uh, you know, it's just a difference in, the, I guess, the atomizer, you know, that's why it's kind of coming out with. Uh, two different uh, ohm readings. Also, you know, it's not really, really identical build. You know, it's just the same wrap, same wire, same size wire. So, but almost identical. So, so here it is my plume veil. Let's put a few more juice in here, and we'll fire this up. My plume veil is powered by Turon from Vapaholic. 
see how this thing vapes, yo. Whoa, nice. Uh, as far as spit back, none. So that's a plus for the uh, chuff enough drip top. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out on my toe baddie. So vapor production, man, outstanding. So I'm gonna pop in my uh, Toe baddie here. <coughs> you know when I <coughs> excuse me when I first tested it out. Uh, since I added additional holes on my toe baddie, I'm getting you know definitely it's a looser draw compared to the plume veil. Uh, plume veil, you know, it's it's a tight, not tight, but it's still a loose draw. But definitely this one's a lot looser. You know, so I'm able to pull longer with the plume veil. So I think I might get the, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get an, another Tobe Addy V2 or I'm gonna get the 2.5. Cause you know, although I like looser draw, I think I drilled too much, too many holes in this freaking thing. So I should have just added an, one extra hole on each side, but too late. But let's go. Like I said, this thing fits, but it's tight, as you can see there. But still has a good fit. So why did I do that? I'm gonna add some more juice on this thing. Uh, for my tobe, it's powered by Suica Swing from Vapaholic. much juice but what the hell so here we go Another whoa. Again, no spit back with this drip top, so thumbs up. Uh, vapor production, again, outstanding. You know, I have almost identical builds. Uh, you know, as you can see, uh, vapor production wise, man, it's crazy. So I definitely recommend the drip top. Uh, you know, the chuffing of drip top. So if you have uh, an RDA with removable top caps, you know, as long as they're 22 millimeters, this thing should fit because, you know, it came with two uh, different size O-rings. So you'll definitely, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna fit. But again, you know, buy at your own risk, please. But as far as my plume veil, tobe, and the halo top cap, it fits perfectly, so. Again, uh, I highly recommend this drip, uh, this chuff enough drip top. Uh, if you definitely want to produce lots of vapor, go buy this thing.
Again, $25 per, plus $8 shipping from the vape source. Again, I'll post her uh, description in the link below. In the, uh, I'll, I'll post her, man, I got that thing backwards. I'll post the link in the description below. So, uh, what am I doing here? I think bef before we call it a day, let's do a few more hits on my plume veil. Kind of liking that. Add some more juice to this thing. Bam. So even for $33, it's worth it. So again, thank you for watching.